Okay. What do you got for me today? So yesterday we were talking a lot, or you were talking a lot about, um, like, uh, using the conventions and the and the um, and the rules and things to learn about our intentions and um, sort of the dynamic of conduct and view and things. And you ended with a story about how this gangster came and lived with Lung Pao Cha. And I was just wondering about like the role of mentors and teachers um, in, in helping us to learn these very difficult skills. Uh, yeah, uh, that's a, uh, um, that's a, um, you know, really is a, um, a you know, how we learn. Um, yeah, you don't, you can't read a book on this, or you can, but it doesn't really, <laughs> uh, it doesn't really hit you in the same way, because this is really restructuring, rewiring, reconfiguring our whole being, and, uh, and having mentors, uh, and of course that's what Sangha is, um, as, a, uh, uh, as opposed to, uh, say, uh, some big ajahn or something, that, because uh, um, for, for all of uh, Ajahn Chah's, say, charisma and character, um, he never set himself apart, um, and, uh, and, and the uh, uh, other senior members of the community were, were uh, you know, very, very much a part of the, the whole training process. Of course, it's under the guidance of Ajahn Chah or, or in, in any monastery. The, uh, you know, the teacher um, does provide guidance and, and, uh, and encouragement, um, but it's also the, the, uh, um, the living with um, 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 the whole community and the, the uh, members of the, of the community who perform um, all the different roles of mentoring, which you know sometimes is is uh, um, agreeable and sometimes it's disagreeable, you know, and and uh, you know sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, and and it's very human, which is 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 good, you know, in the sense of you know because sometimes even seeing. You know, senior monks not behaving so well. Uh, it doesn't mean that they're not good monks. It's just that they're not behaving well at that moment, or they're not in a good mood at that time, or their their own mindfulness and clarity is has uh, issues. So there's a, uh, but certainly as a, uh, uh, yeah, I mean the senior monk or the senior ajahn has a. Has a duty to to uh, um, try to to uh, be the example and to try to to encourage people in both the say the aspects of vinya and and conduct uh, as well as uh, the practice itself, uh, the meditation practice, the, the uh, understanding of the. Of the teaching, so that's a, a, there is a, a mentoring going on uh, on many different levels, but it's it, there's a, I suppose there's a certain tone set by uh, by a uh, your senior monk, and, and that that uh, uh, provides a, a, a kind of a good foundation for for the 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 tone of the of the, uh, the monastery itself, hopefully. And, uh, so that, that uh, um, yeah, you realize that this, the learning that we're doing is not just a, say, like a meditation technique or a, a uh, sort of a uh, astute philosophical perspective. On, it's, 
it's living, living the Dhamma day in, day out, and living the, the, uh, the training day in and day out. And so that takes support and, and uh, uh, encouragement from, from all, all the members of the community, really, and, and commitment uh, of all the members of the community. Um, so that that's uh, but that that again. So we are mentored, and we we do grow. Uh, and certainly for myself, I mean, I even say my own understanding of dhamma and my own commitment to dhamma uh, is, is has grown through my being uh, a say a teacher or an abbot. Um, and um, being willing and ready to learn from others, learning from the situation, learning from from other people, uh, and uh, so that it's a uh, uh, it's not just a uh, kind of a top down uh, the say the the abbot holding all the knowledge and passing it out at his discretion when he feels magnanimous uh, but but uh, you're everybody's learning from each other uh, and that's that's a, and that's an aspect of mentoring uh, in that the uh, you know we are being mentored by Dhammavinya and uh, mentored by the the uh, uh, living within the, the refuges of Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha. So. I'm just wondering who you might consider um, important mentors over your own time. My own time? Uh, well, Lumpa Cha. Um, the Lumpa Chan, Lumpa Mahamon, Lumpa Liam, uh, those are all sort of senior teachers of of uh, of Ajahn Chah, Lumpa Uh So those are are uh, all uh, uh, mentors who you know, lived with, had a lot of contact with. Uh, teachers who I had uh, not constant contact with or, you know, or regular, even regular contact with, but who were were very influential in my own practice and Nukta Mahabua, Nupa Ben, Nupa Buddha Tat, Papa Yuto, and these are all uh, monks who I uh, you know, drew close to for a shorter, you know, uh, you know, say as opportunistic uh, times when I had the opportunity. I went down to Surmok three or four times, three times, at least three times, maybe four. Hard to remember. You know, I've had had uh, occasions to to visit with and and speak Dhamma with with uh, uh, um, Prabhu Yuto um, similarly with Nukta Mahabhu uh, Nupa Ben uh, so those are, are uh, uh, and you know it's just that's what pops up on the top, the top of my head but you know people who I was close to you know, besides Ajahn Chah and uh, Lopa Jan was one of the senior disciples of Ajahn Chah and and he uh, he was he was really he was really good with with westerners he had a good feel for westerners and uh Maha Amon had a lot of contact with him because he was he was the preceptor for all the western monks while I was the abbot of what Nana Chan. Uh, so I had a lot of contact with him and, and uh, he was a very learned monk. It was really uh, who got very inspired 
by Ajahn Chah. And it, it took him a hard, a, quite a long time to make the commitment to go and train with Ajahn Chah because he uh, he was a senior teacher at the at the Pali Institute that that Ajahn Chah dropped out of. <laughs> so it was, <laughs> so it was uh, you know what am I doing? I can't do that. I mean, but then uh, you know when he finally went and met Ajahn Chah, then he uh, uh, he he gave up his position and, and uh, came and studied with with Ajahn Chah. And, and he was very well known in Ubon um, because the the monastery that he was uh, the senior teacher at was 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 really respected and and renowned and and, uh, uh, and it was a big thing, big deal uh, when uh, Ajahn Mahamon went to to stay with Ajahn Chah and. Uh, and he, 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 like, uh, uh, Lumpur Samedo was uh, there before uh, uh, Ajahn Mahamon, even though Ajahn Mahamon was uh, quite a bit senior. Um, similar to Lumpur Liam. And Lumpur Liam came after, after Lumpur Samedo was, was there. Uh, he was already, I think, nine bounces or something when he, went to stay with Ajahn Chah. And uh, so, and of course, Lumpa Liam I've had you know, so, a lot of contact with over the years, both as a young monk, uh, and then particularly when Ajahn Chah was ill. Um, the, uh, you know, it's hard to imagine now, but, but when, uh, when Lumpa Liam first took over, his, as, say, senior teacher performing the duties of abbot of Wat Bapong, then you know, Wat Bapong almost kind of cleared out. Uh, and, uh, um, and, and of course, everybody, everybody wanted Ajahn. They didn't want Lumpa Liam, they wanted Ajahn Chah. <laughs> so, and you get compared to, to, you know, you're not doing it like Lumpa. <laughs> And uh, so it's very, very tough, very hard. So, so uh, and I made it a, uh, made a point of, of uh, uh, making sure that that uh, uh, I stayed close to Wat Bapong and and Lumpa Liam and and helped support him um, uh, uh, all the way through. And, and uh, yeah, so he was. Uh, I mean, he's not a, he's not a gusher. <laughs> you know, so it's, you know, sometimes it's hard to even know if he, he acknowledges your existence, you know, but, but, uh, but uh, you know, he's, uh, he, he, he uh, you know, definitely has appreciated our contact over the years. Um, Lumpur, um, you know, coming to the West, it seems like our tradition has the chance to sort of come into contact, not only with Western culture, but also with um, all these other branches of Buddhist monasticism, you know, Tibetan and Zen lineages, etc. Um, what strengths do you see in these other lineages and in Western culture that, um, that you think maybe, you know, the our tradition could benefit from kind of looking to or taking in and number two um coming to the west how have you decided which elements of our core wat and um how we hold the form to adjust to the culture and how have you decided which to stick to well i think the uh that's a big question it's two big, two big <laughs> questions actually <laughs> but the uh you know, we had uh, these later years haven't had much contact with uh, uh, other traditions uh, very much. For, for early years of of a Bayagiri, we had uh, you know quite a lot of contact with uh, Tibetan Zen, both in terms of um, Bay Area Zen and and uh, and uh, 
um, say like Shasta Abbey, which is uh, uh, a Zen tradition, but has got a very strong um, uh, monastic uh, community and commitment to monastic form, whereas the most of the uh, um, uh, Zen, uh, as it's found in in uh, in the states, is is uh, uh, they're priests, they're not not uh, they're not not monastics, and uh, and yeah, you know, later years just haven't had the same amount of. Of contact, we used to go. There used to be a, a Western Buddhist monastic gathering, pretty much every year, and uh, I got kind of tired of them. Um, the uh, I think others did too, um, and uh, you know it's wonderful to to connect with. Uh, all these you know, sincere uh, people, but but oftentimes um, there was. Uh, I think our strongest connection was really Shasta Abbey, um, because they had a strong commitment to to uh, monastic training and lived a, a really exemplary uh, um, uh, community life. Um, so that that, uh, and I haven't been the, these last years since my hip and pelvis has been sort of precluded long uh, road trips. But uh, um, and and have definitely tried to to be supportive of the monastic communities. Uh, that are being formed by uh, by the bhikkhunis, um, uh, Aloka Vihara, uh, Dhammadarini, and be supportive because they're um, focused on uh, monastic uh, training, um, and uh, so that that uh, you know kind of because there's so many good things to do um, that. Uh, you know, it could be you know, running around the country doing good things, <laughs> and uh, and I'd, I'd rather focus my attention uh, here uh, and uh, the uh, of course you know one of the the uh, um, you know there are. Uh, you know certainly the uh, uh, you know, some of the aspects of um, you know I think one of the things that really really hit me early years of of that Western Buddhist monastic gathering um, that that really struck me um, and I don't know it was at it was at Shasta Abbey and it was when we had the uh, sort of the Buddhist monastic fashion show. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> uh, e- explaining uh, our robes uh, and the 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 background of the robes and the tradition around the robes and and what was really fascinating was that uh, the. Uh, as different as all these robes are, whether it's uh, Chinese tradition or Theravada tradition or Tibetan or 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 Zen, uh, is the attempt, uh, and because there's a problem of geography and history that has separated all these traditions, and. Uh, uh, and because of the distances both in time as well as in physical distances, and um, I mean, it's only really now in this modern age that we have the ability to communicate with these, these other traditions. And, uh, but, but the, uh, um, all the different lineages talking about their robes and how 
um, the, the attempt was always to try to go back to the text that they had and understand what the, the, these, what does it mean by the, you know, like the under robe, or what does it mean by the, like, like for, for the longest time, the, uh, the like in the, uh, Chinese tradition, uh, the, uh, uh, say, like City of 10,000 Buddhas, they, they're, you know, they put two robes on, two of the, um, their robes on, their outer robes on for the ordinations because, you know, they're, they're, they're really trying to follow this, what, what's in the Vinaya text, but they didn't quite know what it was. Um, and, uh, uh, or the, 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 uh, the, say, the attempts by Dogen to, to uh, uh, he was really uh, um, really looking down on the, the way that these um, the, the uh, kind of the upper robe and the lower robe were getting uh, sewn in together and turning into one kind of smock type thing, and uh, you know it was, it was really. Uh, down on that, so that that's the roots of your 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 Soto Zen tradition, and uh, but but the, always the attempt is trying to be as faithful as possible, and that was really that that was really quite quite touching and and moving, and the uh, uh, the use of the uh, uh, you know of the of the or even say in the Tibetan tradition, where they live in this incredibly harsh climate, uh, and uh, you know, I mean, we've got these. I mean, they keep keep a, a bare shoulder. You know, they've got kind of a, a jacket thing, but they they keep a keep a bare shoulder because that's what it is in the in the vineyard, and uh, you know, they probably have to get covered up with all sorts of Sheep, you know, kind of sheep carcasses. <laughs> you know, I mean, sort of like the, the you know wool and 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 uh, and uh, sheepskins to, to 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 keep warm because it's you know, it is an incredibly harsh environment. But but that's you know that's that's the vin. There's, there it is in the vineyard. They want to really protect that, and so that 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 uh, that's something that that was really. Quite inspiring, because oftentimes what we do is we look at the external, and you know, so you know, you know those shameless sort of Mahayanists, you know. <laughs> and it's, it's uh, but that's it, it, it's you realize, oh no, that uh, you know a lot of it is is the. Uh, uh, just these distances of, of geography and time, and, and uh, the the uh, attempt has been you know, pretty constant. So that appreciating those qualities, and certainly in the uh, so like in the Tibetan tradition, then there's there's certain aspects of you know the the uh, uh, you know the structuring of practices. Uh, that uh, um, you know, you got, you have your preliminary. I mean, uh, f- uh, for us, as especially Thai tradition and you know, so any kind of structuring and ordering is a bit, uh, bit anathema. <laughs> and uh, but say, like in Tibetan tradition, then you've got got some, they're very uh, uh, prescribed practices. That you lay a foundation with, and then you go on, and you continue with that. So there's there's a there's a structuring of, of uh, within that plus the, the teachings, and so it's 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 uh, uh, there are you know, certain practices and approaches that are uh, are, are uh, worthy of taking note of and and uh, seeing their, their benefit. Benefit, you know, in terms of of say Kawatan and Vinaya coming to the West, and 
You know, there's, there's, uh, you realize there's a, uh, or, um, you know, Ajahn Sumedho was the first monk to, to go to, to the West, and, uh, and, and he went into a, a culture that had uh, quite a strong foundation in Buddhist studies um, and knowledge of Buddhism. The Buddhist society is, had been around for a long time, Polytech society even longer, so a lot of academic and, 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 and practice elements. Uh, and, uh, you know, so many people were, were uh, and, you, know, so, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't live like this in, in, uh, in, in England. And, and uh, Ajahn Sumedho was, uh, I don't know, I just, I just want to try. And try to live this, uh, and figure it out from there. And then, you know, as one uh, picks up the the uh, the training, and and you realize, well, it's you know, one. You know, the Buddha was pretty good at recognizing what what is you know has a, a universal um, application. Sort of the, the commitment to to the uh, to a uh, a life of simplicity, uh, and, and that's something as well as when you meet um, when we when when I've met um, not just monastics uh, in the Buddhist tradition, but you meet um, Christian monastics in particular. You know, we've got a lot more in common. Um, uh, and then uh, you know then we do with with uh, say Buddhist certainly Buddhist lay teachers or 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 because uh, that, that that those 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 principles of 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 simplicity and and uh, uh, renunciation are are uh, that's what that that's the foundation of the of the monastic vocation and uh, the the both the say the vinaya certain puts it in place and the, the, the uh, there are certain elements of uh, that are um, you know quite um, yeah quite sacrosanct in that yeah life of celibacy no money uh, a uh, uh, no alcohol or drugs, and yeah. um, just if those as a, a fundamental foundation. You've already, you know, set yourself apart from about ninety-nine point nine percent of the of the population. Um, you know, which is is you know setting up a training, and then you have you know different elements of of because you can't really take oh I want. There's no, there's no reason to fit into American culture. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know what? You know, so there's certain elements of, uh, you know, there's one of the, 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 the there isn't much of a, uh, of a, a precedent for. For um, I mean, this this is fundamentally a, a Protestant culture. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's within my lifetime that that it was, you know, this huge uh, thing that 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 uh, um, say. JFK was was actually able to be uh, elected as president of the United States, and he was a Catholic. You know, it's, <laughs> it's a uh, 
that's a things have things have changed. Um, but it's yeah, it's just there's this the perception and, and many of the values are. You know, and even now, for the generation now sort of looks at, back at that and sort of, well, that's really quaint. Um, but it, 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 history is, has a way of, of showing itself uh, over, over time. And uh, I think that we, we have, uh, you know, we've got a, a, a training that... that uh, um, is uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, reasonably comprehensive in giving us the foundations of uh, mindfulness and, and communal living and supportive of the, the monastic and sp- spiritual religious endeavor. So it's... it's uh, um, <clears throat> You know, and some things uh, you know I really didn't want to bring to uh, to America it was just um, you know, from day one I didn't want to bring like a receiving cloth as a as a uh, I just I just didn't see the point of it. Yeah. It's it's just you end up spending more time explaining it, <laughs> and uh, and alienating people while you're doing it. So that, that. but you know, uh, uh, you know, there's a few things that are are uh, um, um, you know, that have been a bit of an adaptation, but but it's like. You know, a lot of it is just prime. I mean, even just our, you know, having a jacket like this. And it's like, it was, it was really great. One year, they, you know, it was just, you live in a cold climate. And, and it was something that, <coughs> um, you know, I think, uh, um, it was in, in uh, uh, Chithurst, uh, the early years of jitters that that uh, um, and in, in those days heat in the buildings were you know, mostly not there and then they're scattered around in little odd places where they were just trying to you know like the first ye- I can't remember how long but pretty much, pretty much all the monks had to share their rooms with with people. They didn't have kutis yet. Uh, they had to share, and it was like a, it was a few years where they were, uh, you know, sharing rooms. Mm-hmm. Um, Ajahn Amaro was. They were there was a one kuti in the, near the house there, um, but uh, him and Tanawaro shared it for a couple of years. And then it was, you know, so that, that, uh, but it, yeah, it was cold, and it's cold in England. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and everybody had sweaters on, and they're all different colors. And Ajahn Sumedho was just sort of, it, it looks so sloppy. <laughs> and uh, so that, uh, he, he asked Ajahn Munindo to, <laughs> Come up with some sort of simple design that we can have a jacket that you could put whatever sweaters you need underneath it, and and uh, and it looks monastic. Uh, so that he uh, he had a, at that time he had a, a close friend of his who was a, a, a Korean monk. So he used to model off the off the Korean uh, tradition, and. Uh, Anyway, that was really criticized in Thailand, um, as uh, not so much in Wat Bapong circles, although some, uh, uh, to some extent, uh, but uh, certainly in the uh, um, <clears throat> uh, 
especially like administrative circles and the, the, the hierarchy and and then one year um, a uh, um, a very senior uh, monk from Wat Bhavan, and he was the secretary to the Mahatera Samako uh, is a uh, uh, spacing on his name right now. Uh, I traveled with him and, and was his uh, attendant and, and translator uh, when he went. And uh, No, 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 different monk. Um, uh, yeah, I'll think about it. Um, but anyway, he was he very, very influential uh, in the uh, in the world of sangha politics and 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 being at Wat Bhavan, which is the heart of Damayut, that's the head of the Damayut, uh, very uh, yeah very influential, and <clears throat> he uh, when he went to England, and we were there for a month and traveled around, and he we put out. Uh, sweaters and jacket for him, and 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 he no 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 no, no. and uh, and we said mm, okay uh, he, maybe he's really down on us uh, and uh, he thinks we're really and this is in the summertime <laughs> and uh, you know it's cold even in the summer. And uh, and then the, the 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 night before he left, he went around to all the different monasteries. And uh, the night before he left, as we were taking leave and asking for forgiveness, um, he uh, <coughs> he praised uh, the practice. He praised the standards of Vinaya, the uh, and uh, and he uh, and then he said. You know, when you know, when I was in Thailand, you know, I would hear criticisms of of uh, um, of uh, say Ajahn Tomato and Ajahn Chah's tradition, um, going to to England and and uh, adapting, not doing it like like Thailand. And he said, so I I made a determination to to try it out, and I did. And then he he said he said. And now you can see my arm here. It's all cracked and bleeding. And it's really, it was, it was, he said, this is, this is really not, what you've done is really appropriate for the environment and how you've done it is appropriate. I'm going to take this back and show people that you can't be done. You know, so that, that it was really, it was really quite, quite, uh, uh, quite touching. Um, though he, uh, um, so that was was uh, <clears throat> you know those are those are ways. So, you know you just have to sort of uh, you know some things are are uh, are uh, you know may. You know, different from from the way it just to say say that that uh, uh, is is a part of American culture, but I think it's something that is. There are many beautiful things that we can learn because I mean it, we we are we have our culture, but it, and it doesn't mean it because uh, culture is a, is a a condition thing. It's a conventional thing. But there, we'll say that for us as Buddhist monastics and, and Buddhist practitioners, what we're trying to do is set conditions that give us the opportunity for learning. And, uh, and so that the, the opportunity to learn um, how to, to, uh, to look after each other. And uh, because there's a, there's a very strong cultural value of independence, and and uh, everybody you know really take care of themselves, which is is uh, you know is it, that has a strength, um, and 
but then also <clears throat> to be able to learn how to adapt and how do we how do we look after others how do we care for others um, how can we be be uh, uh, manifest qualities of say uh, respect or deference and and because uh, um, it's it's uh, you know, despite a, a, a very strong ethos of equality, I mean, say America right now is is one of the most one of the more unequal cultures and countries on the planet. So that that uh, that's a great ethos, but you know, it's not really lived, and and and. Uh, and in, as a as a human culture, what are human qualities that we can be cultivating that allows us to to uh, to live together in a way that we're not making more suffering than we started with? Before you talked about your, your relationship with your mentors in, in the East and, and uh, with the Christian monastics and I'm wondering if you've had much um, st strong relationships with some lay teachers here in, in the West or if some have come and spent a lot of time here over the 25 years? Some lay teachers? Yeah, with the, the Buddhist lay teachers. Um, well, um, the, uh, I have a, a very good uh, connection with Gil Fransdale. Um, uh, Guy and Sally have both come up and spent time. Guy Armstrong, Sal Sally Armstrong, they've come up and 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 spent time here, practiced here, uh, joined in the Thanksgiving retreat. Um, 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 uh, their younger teachers, like Heather uh, Sunberg, um, come up and and spent time. Um, She's a good, solid teacher. Um, Betsy Rose, uh, another teacher, has come up and spent time here. So yeah, there's, there's, uh, <clears throat> there are uh, uh, within the uh, lay teacher realm. There are some people who, who, you know, who, who looked our Kevin Griffiths, Philip Moffat. Kevin's come up and spent time. Um, took him years to sort of get over that hump of oh, those monastics. And they, he quite likes it. <laughs> um, Philip Moffat never stayed, but he is, he's, he's got a real strong appreciation you know, for the tradition, the lineage. Um, Rick Center? Rick Center, yeah. I mean, he's a, a lay teacher who's got a... a Place. Have you heard you mention Noah Levine? Yeah, Noah. Noah's come up, and he's, he hasn't. He's got a. He's got a, a strong appreciation, and, and uh, um, of course, he's uh, the early, early uh, years. He would uh, plug in quite a bit, and now he's uh, busy with many, many things. I saw him in uh, in, in in Thailand. A couple of years ago, I said, I said, I said, it's been so long since I've been to the monastery, I really have to get there. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's have a break. <laughs>